Okay, so in this video, we're going to use VirtualBox 6.1 to install Android 9 Pi, the x86 version. To start off, we need to download a copy of Android x86. So if you go to this website, and the link will be in the description, just click on download on the front page, and then select your download mirror. So I'm just going to pick OSDN, and scroll down. And we're going to select this link over here. So it's Android x86 underscore 64 dash 9.0 dash R2 dot ISO. So click on this and just wait for it to download. OK, so once your download has completed, make sure you know where you've downloaded your file to. So for me, it's in downloads and it's over here. So the next thing that we need to do is open up VirtualBox and create our virtual machine. So I'm just going to do that now. So you can see that it is VirtualBox 6.1. So what we're going to do is let me just get rid of this browser. Don't need that anymore. And I can just close that. So we're going to create a new virtual machine. And let's call it Android 9 Pi x86 and under type we're going to select Linux and we're going to select other Linux 64 bit and then press next. Now for the amount of RAM that we want to allocate to this VM I'd say a minimum of two gigabytes of RAM so let's just do that so 2048 and click next. So now we're going to create a virtual hard disk for our virtual machine so just click create and we're going to leave it as VDI and click next and dynamically allocated is fine. So click next. And for the size of our hard disk, eight gigabytes should be OK. It all depends on how many apps you plan on downloading and installing, as some Android apps tend to have quite large disk space requirements. So for me, I'm just going to leave this. At, I'm just going to change it actually to 10 gigabytes. So that should be fine and click create. OK, so we're almost finished creating our virtual machine. We just need to make a couple more tweaks. So let's start with system. And we're going to click on processor. And I would recommend that you give a minimum of two CPUs to this virtual machine. And for acceleration, I'm just going to select KVM. And that's it for the system. So next, let's go down to display. So I'm just going to crank up the video memory as far as it will go. And for the graphics controller, we have to select VBOX SVGA as VM SVGA only works with virtual machines that you can install guest editions on, I believe. So we're going to select VBOX SVGA. So that's a limitation of using VirtualBox to install Android x86 and create a, an Android virtual machine. So that's done. We need to go down to storage now and we need to insert our ISO image into this virtual machine. So click on empty and you want to click on this drop down here. Sorry, this disk in attributes and choose a disk file. And it's already jumped me into my downloads anyway. So this is the correct file. So just find wherever you've downloaded your ISO file to and click open. Okay, so audio, the defaults, well, these settings here are fine. They all work. So for network, you can just leave the settings as default. This is all fine. And we're basically done. So now what we need to do is actually install Android into this virtual machine that we've created. So let's just make sure that our virtual machine is selected and click start. OK, so now we have our boot screen for our Android x86 installation. What you want to do is come down to advanced options. And we want to select auto installation and just press enter. And now we need to just select yes, because yes, we're sure we want to do this and hit enter. So I'm just moving around using the cursor keys on my keyboard, um, just in case you wanted to know, just hit enter.
Okay, so we have successfully installed Android x86 into our virtual machine. The only thing that we have left to do is the initial configuration of Android. So if you've ever configured an Android phone or tablet, this is exactly identical to your very first boot of that device. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that OK is selected, hit enter, and we're actually going to just close this. So I'm just going to power off this virtual machine quickly and just go into storage and make sure that we eject this disk. So make sure it's selected in your storage devices. Click on the disk in attributes and remove disk from virtual drive and press OK. And now we can just boot up our VM again. So make sure it's selected in this menu here and press start. And you want to select the first item in this list. So just use your cursor keys on your keyboard and make sure the first item selected and hit enter. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is connect to Wi Fi. And this one has already connected, but you want to connect to this VERT Wi Fi network here. So you can see mine is connected. Um, so let's just click on that. And it's going to check for updates. This actually can take a few minutes. So now it's asking us if we want to copy any apps or data from our Google account. So as I just want a fresh installation, I'm just going to say don't copy. And we basically just need to wait for this to give us a screen where we can do something. Okay, so now we can actually sign in with our Google account. So I'm just going to do that off camera and come back when that's done. Okay, so once you have actually logged in with your Google account or created a new one, as you had that option in that last screen, you just need to click agree. So it's the standard EULA stuff. And now just check that the date and time is correct and location as well. So this is all fine. So I'm just going to click next. So now we can choose to enable or disable some Google services. So for backup and storage, I'm just going to turn this off because I don't want to back up anything from this VM. Um, I'm going to say don't use location and do not send usage and diagnostic data. So by all means, you can leave these turned on or off. It's totally up to you. Um, I'm just going to leave them off and press accept. So now we can actually set a pattern, pin or password to lock this VM if we want or none at all. So I'm just going to click not now and skip anyway. So now it's asking if we want to allow the Google app to give us personalized updates. Um, you can click continue, but I'm just going to say no thanks. So now it's asking us to set up Google Pay which we don't have to do. So you just need to scroll down this page. Now you can do that with the scroll wheel on your mouse or hold down left click and drag the page up. And I'm just going to click skip. So for this screen, we can choose to add another email account if we wish or change font sizes, change wallpaper, basically things that you can do in the settings anyway. So I'm just going to click no thanks. So the last thing that we need to do now is select a home app. I'm just going to say quick step. You can pick taskbar. There are some settings uh, specific to taskbar in your Android settings, but you can just have a look at that. So I'm just going to say just once for now in case I change it later. And that's basically it. So if we just drag up, these are the apps that we currently have and we can install more from the Play Store. And that's basically it. So that's how to install Android 9 Pie in VirtualBox 6.1. I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Goodbye.